At school, shootings are becoming all too common, and as adults, it's difficult enough for us to just process, so mm -hmm. you can only imagine how hard this is for children to understand. Our executive producer of Impacting Communities, Amir Makeupson, joins us now. I know you were at Southfield Elementary yesterday where they found a little bit of a creative way to express their emotions. They did. Creative and kind beyond belief. I cried. I think a, a whole lot of us cried. It all stemmed from the principal, Tanya Hickman. She became overwhelmed during the morning announcements the day after that shooting at MSU and on the spot decided to have the kids express their feelings with some homemade cards. Check this out. All right, do we have our desk clear? Another Tuesday at Stevenson Elementary School in Southfield. I am going to give everybody one sheet of white paper. But not just another art project. Tell me what happened in Michigan State. Uh, what happened was a school got shoot up and, and some kids had died and some kids had injuries. There was some confusion. I do know there was shooting. And they caught him that barely know what happened. Questions. I want to know why did the man want us to do that? Why would that shooter go up there and shoot him? And feelings. Sad. It makes me feel sad because I don't know why people are still killing other people. I'm, I'm like um, a very emotional girl and I don't really like when people pass away. Because it's not right to just come up to, to Michigan State University and start, and start shooting. I have to be cautious of my surroundings. Does that make you scared? So now, the students are putting pencil to paper. Let's do something for the students that are going to need a lot of encouragement. And so we made the announcement that we wanted our students to write letters to the um, staff and students at Michigan State University, just giving some, them some encouraging words to help show support. I think they're gonna make them feel really special. Can I share mine? Yeah, I'd love to see it. Okay. Hi, my name is Adrian, and I'm praying for you. Then I have MSU. Then I hope justice will be served. We lift you in blessing. We are with you no matter what. We are hope. We are hoping that the, the people that died went to a better place. Even if they don't understand. To the parents, I would say that um, I'm sorry for your loss of, of your loved ones, but just remember that you always have them in your heart. Now, I told you guys um, earlier that the principal had gotten overwhelmed, and that's where this all stems from. And it, there was an element to that that I don't think a lot of us maybe would have taken into consideration. She has two kids who go to Michigan State. Mm -hmm. So before I was there to do that story, she was up on campus to pick up her kids. But that's just her. The, the classmates of my son and some other kids who I know who go to that school have siblings at Michigan State or cousins at Michigan State. And so how do you, what do you do? What do you say? How do you even calm them down? And just thank God that they thought to color it out. That yeah. seems to have worked. Yeah. yeah, that piece was so difficult for me to watch because there's such an awareness there of what's going on, mm -hmm. but yet equally as much of an innocence mm -hmm. there. And it's, it's very difficult to see those two elements come yeah. together. It is, and to up that ante a little bit more, at that school, which is kindergarten through fifth grade, they go through active shooter training regularly. Wow. They are being told by school administration to empower yourself. If there's a situation to save yourself and get out, run, do what you have to do. But we are talking literally kindergartners up through fifth grade who are doing active shooter training in school because that's the world that we live yeah, in. Yeah, it speaks to the time that we're living in because there was a time where kids didn't even have to know about this. No, they, they didn't were know shielded. what this meant. Yeah. No, yeah. I remember tornado drills with the textbook yes, over my head. Exactly. That was the extent of emergency training. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a different day though. It Beautiful is. story, Amir. Thank and I just you. had a family member text and say you have them sobbing. So yeah. oh, I'll um, tell them. I think that was a very meaningful piece. Let's hope for so their glad. sake that we do see some kind of change. I hope so too. I you know it's it's you're, you're going to be a mom soon, and it's yes. going to change your perspective a lot. It's yeah. difficult. So. All right, Amir, thank, thank you, you for sharing this with us. Thank you both.